however, the topic of the moment here in Washington, you had the, the Foley scandals of last week. Now there are two others brewing. First, you've got Senator Harry Reid. He announced that he's amending his ethics report to Congress regarding a Vegas land deal. He also admitted using campaign donations to pay Christmas bonuses to the staff at his condominium at the Ritz. Harry Reid lives at the Ritz. Too. Meanwhile, the FBI raided the home of Republican Congressman Kurt Weldon's daughter. That's part of an investigation into whether Weldon used his influence to steer business to her consulting firm. First, A.B. Stoddard, he lives, at the, he lives at the Ritz, and he's using campaign cash to give tips to the little guy? I mean, what, does this matter? You know, it, it's interesting. I mean, I, I, if I were Harry Reid um, and I was looking three weeks from the election at possibly being uh, becoming majority leader of the Senate, I mean, it is a now a possibility. It would be uh, really, it's just unfortunate that if he is so, if, if he is innocent, he's done nothing wrong, it's unfortunate that he is going to get himself into this situation and get and put himself under the spotlight because he didn't properly, um, you know, complete his financial disclosure forms. I mean, you just never want to run into trouble because you didn't fill out the forms the right way. Way. It does seem that a little said, cheesy, though, to be giving campaign well, contributions as Christmas tips. Why don't you pay them out of your own pocket, Mr. Big Spender? Oh, yeah, you know, I don't see every time questions like this come up, I, I'm hesitant to, 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 to make a call on it because I don't know really what senators and, and um, members of Congress who live in hotels, you know, where, do with the Christmas fund for the workers there and whether or not they take it from them. You never know what is actually sort of the practice. So, so that, I just don't know about that detail of it. That said, I think the Weldon thing is probably um, just going to be more of a problem. I mean, that story is probably oh, yeah. going to have more legs and be bigger um, because Kurt Weldon has been safe his whole life. This is his first tough race. It was already tough before um, this was bro this story was broken. Um, he is running in a you know Pennsylvania is now what we call a purple state. These are really rough times for Kurt Weldon before this story broke. Well, so the I FBI think I think it's, well, I want to let me read to you both, and this is to you, Amanda. Specifically, Kurt Weldon's explanation, his, the implication is that he helped his daughter, 32-year-old Karen Weldon, 32, who had a public relations business, a lobbying business, uh, help her get business. He said, quote, my daughter doesn't need my help. She never has. She's a very capable professional. So he's honestly saying that his daughter would be getting million-dollar contracts from Russian companies if her father wasn't a member of Congress. I mean, that's just a crock. I think the House really has to look into this, and whatever they turn up in this investigation will prove worthy of more scrutiny upon that. But the history with Senate Minority Harry, Lee, Harry Reid, the fact that he would make a land transaction with his lawyer friend with no documentation is very interesting. And I think uh, you know the AP reporter John Solomon is very right for aggressively pursuing this story. Right now, the burden is on Harry Reid to come forth and explain it. And I think that's going to be a hard burden to face. But this is indicative of a larger problem. Problem. One that I bring up with Hillary Clinton in, in the dossier that I just authored that I really would encourage reporters like AB to go after is the foreign money that her husband Bill Clinton has been raising internationally in form of speaking fees. I mean, there's all kinds of unsavory money transactions mm -hmm. that are happening on Capitol Hill right now. Well, Hillary Clinton has a larger conflict of interest that, you know, this is small potatoes compared to. If that to. foreign money is going to campaigns, of course, that's a violation of federal law. And Actually, I, I it's not. Actually, from what I uncovered in my Since book, when? in fact, who, oh, I can explain it right here, is that Bill Clinton has gotten more than $20 million in foreign money. You can look this up on the Senate financial disclosure forms that I include in the back of my book with Hillary Clinton's signature. This comes from the People's Republic of China well, I'm sure he other has. places they... like this. Okay, but but he has a joint checking a account. Problem. Here, here's, here's how, it's good, how it could work hey, out. Give me the short version. Here we go. So yeah, they have a joint checking account. I talked with campaign finance lawyers. Hillary Clinton is entitled to half of it. That can be rolled into her campaign. It's a loophole. I talked to uh, Senator Russ Feingold. It's something they never considered. Huh. Interesting. You read all about well, the if it turns out, Look, if it turns out that money from red China, as they used to call it, and probably still should call it, is going into uh, Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, you know, there's... Well, I asked uh, Senator Clinton if she'd use any of her personal money. She won't deny it. So right now it's up to her to declare that. That'd be a step well, in the right direction. Here's, I want to get quickly to a story that, that we know.